Good morning. This morning I have the pleasure of talking with Dr. Adam Locke from Michigan State. Dr. Locke, would you tell us one of the keys from your presentation this morning? Okay, thank you very much. I think one of the key take homes from, um, for me today is that we need to start to consider fat supplementation in fresh cows. It, for a long time now, the, the dogma has, you know, has been don't feed fat to fresh cows. Um, now we're starting to understand all the different effects of individual fatty acids. Um, we're starting to get a better understanding of this in our recent research has shown some very good production benefits of feeding certain fatty acids um, in fresh cows and interestingly that those cows fed fatty uh, supplemental fatty acids in fresh cows may have some long-term carryover effects um, as those cow cows go into peak lactation just from that first three weeks of feeding we can have some longer term benefits so I think we need to start to reconsider the use of supplemental fatty acids in those um, fresh cows. That's outstanding. So what is it that a farmer could take practically today to potentially implement? Is there a certain fatty acid that maybe stands out or is that more dependent upon the herd and the available feeds? Now that's 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 a great question and that's really where we need to do do more work in the future um, I think the one thing that the key with what I've just been saying here about supplemental fatty acids is that really we're starting to talk about different individual fatty acids our work for a long time now is focused on palmitic acid and now palmitic analeic acid and we and in the fresh cow in particular we have some very interesting results now of um, good production benefits benefits feeding palmitic acid maybe some body weight loss but when we've come in with some different blends of palmitic and analeic we seem like we can get the production benefits and also mitigate any uh, excessive body weight loss from a commercial point of view you know there are many different commercial fat supplements out there number one thing I would tell a nutritionist and a farmer first question the next time someone comes to sell you a supplemental fat first question what's the fatty acid profile fat is not fat we need to know the different fatty acids that are in there. We're interested particularly in palmitic and oleic acid. So in some of our research now, we've been looking at blends of a palmitic acid prill and a calcium salt of, of palm oil or palm fatty acid distillate would be the common names. And you know, there are many nutritionists now looking at taking our data, looking at different blends of those to see some of these benefits in uh, fresh cows and in peak cows, and also out into established and extent um, later in lactation. Super, thank you for that. And lastly, um, is there continued research being done on fatty acids? And if so, uh, is that being done by your department? Great, thank you. Um, yeah, my lab is really focused on fatty acid nutrition and digestion metabolism in dairy cows, a lot in the fresh cow now. Previously, we've done a lot of post-peak. There are many other labs in, in the US and beyond that are uh, focused on, on lipids. Um, I think what we're really doing now is going like, like how over the last 20 years we've gone from crude protein to amino acids now we're going from fat to fatty acids and that's not just supplemental fat but also understanding the fatty acids in all our feedstuffs uh, i hope that we will continue uh, to do research and train train students in in, in this in, in our field most of the work that uh, on the applied side that we do is really is sponsored by industry there's a lot of support by by industry for what we do and and this is really the the um, key driver of allowing us to do a lot of this so that this academic industry relations is, is a for, for our applied work not, not just I do that many people do is a key driver for a lot of that so it, I think it's an exciting time now and I think there's a lot of new information we need we, hopefully we can find out in the next five to ten years super well thank you for joining us today Dr. Locke we greatly appreciate thank it thank you very much Cheers.